Morning class, we're now going to start in chapter three. We're going to look at inequalities in our graphs. Now, inequality means it's not equal. It's um, less than five. So any number less than five, so we're going to put four, five, uh, four, five, four, three, two, one, negative zero, negative 10, any number would work. So just a couple things to reminder. If our sign is going this way, this means it's less than, all right, because the smaller point is pointing towards it. Okay, if our number's on this side, we'd say greater than, less than, or equal to. If it has a line underneath, it means it can be less than that number or even the same as it. And then greater than or equal to would be greater than that number or the same as it. So if we want to go here, we'd say 5 is less than. The smaller n points towards the 5. Negative 4, negative 1. Negative 4 is less than, so again, we go less than, oops, I should go to here, 0, negative 3. 0 is larger than negative 3, so we'd have it open to it. Okay, negative 4 would be less than, and then 0, negative 0 0.1 and negative 0 0.01. So this number would be less than uh, negative 0 0.01. So graph each number on the number line. So if I were to graph 0, okay, I put 0, put a point there. If I went to 4 on the number line, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, put a point. If I went to negative 2, I go down 1, 2, put a point. So we're going to use all this. We're going to kind of combine this all into one lesson. That was just a review of things we've gone over. So when we look at, here's our vocabulary. We're going to have, like you've had, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. When we go to graph it, if it's less than or greater than, we're going to use an open dot. If it's less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, so if it's equal to, we're going to use a closed dot. Okay, so we're in a state. Just tell me if it's open or closed dot. So we look at, if I want to graph this, would I use an open dot or closed dot? Well, it's greater than, so we'd use an open dot. We went here. It's uh, less than or equal to, so we'd use a closed dot. Went to this one. Less than, open dot. Or uh, greater than, open dot as well. And then lastly, it's equal to, it has a line underneath, so we're going to use a closed dot. So now we're going to graph these. We're going to graph them on a number line, so a number line is just a straight line. So graph n is greater than negative 2. So we go to negative 2, it's greater than, so we go to negative 2, it's greater than, so it's an open dot. We want values that are greater than that, n is bigger. So we're going to go to values that are larger than that. We come here, look at it this way. n is, it's open to it, so that means it's greater than it. It's equal to, so our dot's going to be close. So we go to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. N is greater than 4, so we shade to the right. Go to A. A is, it's pointy end, a small end, it's closed end to pointing to it. So it says less than 1, so it's open dot. Go to 1, open dot, it's less than it, so we point to values that are smaller. Last one, Y is greater than or equal to negative 3. So go to negative 3, 1, 2, 3, put a dot. It's closed because it's equal, and we want values that are greater than that. Okay, so now we want to write an inequality form. Well, it's an open dot, so it's either going to be less than or greater than. We're pointing to the right, so that means it's greater than. So we just say n, and then we go to the value of 2. We just have x is greater than 2, or n is greater than 2. Next, we're at the value of 0, so we have 0. You can put n is what compared to 0? Well, it's closed up, so it's going to be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. We want smaller than or about, values that are smaller than 0, so we'd say less than or equal to. We come here, this is value of 1, closed up, so it'll be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. We want values that are bigger, so we'd say x is greater than or equal to 1. And lastly, this is 1, 2, 3, this is at negative 3. Open dot, so it's going to be less than or greater than. We're going to the left, to the values that are smaller, so we'd say x is less than negative 
I3. All right? So we want to check, are these a solution? If I plug in 9, in for x, is 9 less than or equal to 7? No, it's not less than or equal to, so we'd say not a solution. 14 over 2, what's 14 over 2 equal? Well, 14 divided by 2 is 7. Is 7 less than or equal to 7? Yeah, it's not less than, but it's equal to, so we'd say yes. And you check here, is each number a solution? Plug in negative 5. Is negative 5 greater than negative 4? No. Is negative 4.1 greater than negative 4.1? No. Is 8 greater than negative 4.1? Yes. And is 0 greater than negative 4.1? Yes. Again, so if we want to go through here, we want to solve these out. So if it, we want to determine if it's part of a solution. Let me quickly draw these up and we'll go through it. Okay, let me change the camera. So we want to determine if that is a solution. Then we'll come over here and I'll do it on the board. So we want to check is negative 4 a solution to this. So we would go to minus 5, and we're checking negative 4 times negative 4, and that should be greater than 13. So we go to, if you look at negative times a negative, that will be positive now. 20 is greater than 13. 2 plus 20 is 22 greater than 13. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So that works. So we go back. We do the same thing. Let me erase this. Do the same thing. Now we're going to plug in 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. It doesn't change the sign. 2 minus 15 is negative 13. Is negative 13 greater than 13? No, it's not greater than. So that's not a solution. So we would say no to that. All right, and so then we can go through the other ones. You could check the next and see if it works or not. All right, so just a reminder of our signs. If that smaller point is pointing towards it, we'd say less than. If it's open, it'd say it's greater than. Remember when graphing, we're going to have an open dot or closed dot if it's less than or greater than. Open dot for less than or greater than. A closed dot if it's equal to. And then shade to the right or left depending upon our values. All right, thank you.